Welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin, your host today for a presentation of a fabulous piano from the golden era. This Mason and Hamlin Model A Grand Piano was built in 1925. Many people who are very familiar with Mason and Hamlin know that this is a great period of the production. Better than that, we just rebuilt the piano with all the top specification parts that are the exact match for this specific piano, which is key, by the way, for restoring a piano. So I'm gonna play some music, some selections for you, and then I'll tell you more about what we've done to this instrument and what you can expect from a Mason Hamlin A at five foot eight inches. The sound you get doesn't sound like a 5.8, it sounds like a six and, or a six and a half foot piano. There's a lot of reasons for that I'll go into in a moment. But first, let's start with just a, the very opening of Bach's Italian Concerto. So we put new Renner hammers and a whole lot of other action parts you can read about on our website, livingpianos.com. The piano's been refinished, the plate regilded, new pin block for tuning stability. What's so great about Mason and Hamlin pianos? Well, the range of tone is just phenomenal. These instruments are built like a tank. In fact, they weigh about 50% more than regular pianos. Made right here in the USA, still made outside of Boston. To this day, they only make maybe 100 pianos a year. That's why they're such a treasure. These instruments are rare, and if you've ever had a chance to play one, you'll know why people clamor for these pianos. So let's have some more music now. I'm gonna play for you now uh, some Beethoven. This is the beginning, the exposition section of his Sonata in G major, uh, opus 14, number two. The action is very responsive, and interestingly, it feels like a bigger piano. There's just more mass to a Mason and Hamlin piano. It gives you that satisfaction of a large instrument, yet it can fit almost anywhere at only 5'8". The wide tail allows for a bigger soundboard. The inner and outer rims are fatter, so these pianos are robust and really endure the ages better than other instruments. I'm gonna close now with something lyrical so you can hear the tonal shadings possible on a, such a finely regulated and voiced Mason and Hamlin uh, with Chopin's Prelude in E minor.
You notice that dark, warm quality. There's a fatness and a roundness to the sound that is really unique to Mason Hammond pianos. It's the epitome of the American piano sound. I'm wondering how many of you agree with that statement because there are so many different American pianos and I think of American pianos as that fat blending sound which is typified by Mason and Hamlin's. Love to get your opinion on that. Once again, I'm Robert Esner here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. You're welcome to subscribe anytime for more videos. See you next time.